Sziasztok! Itt állok a Budapesti Dokumentum Film Fesztiválon mellettem a Motherland, a szülőanyák producere, mégpedig Ray Cuerdo, Manilából egyenesen érkezett, és most abban a szerencsés helyzetben vagyunk, hogy mi vagyunk a Motherland, a szülőanyáknak a nagykövete, a PAF alapítvány, és így meg tudjuk interjúolni Cuerdo urat, hogy tulajdonképpen mi volt a motivációja, hogy elvállalt ennek a filmnek a producerségét. So I would like to make a short interview with you. Sure. And the first question And is... See ya. See ya. <laughs> see ya. So, you know, we are the Positive Attitude Forming Foundation. This right. is an NGO and we uh -huh. are working in hospitals mm -hmm. throughout Hungary mm -hmm. with volunteers. And uh, so it was a fantastic film. Congratulations! Thank you. To you. Thank and, you. And of course, and to Ramona. Yeah, yes. To Ramona yes. as well. And the first question is that: What was your personal motivation to be part of this project? Well, <clears throat> just like uh, when I answered the question earlier about Ramona's motivation, uh, that also became my motivation when she told me about it. Mm -hmm. about the hospital and of course my own personal experience of my aunt who, which I also mentioned in in, in the Q&A she was a nurse at this hospital mm -hmm. for a long time and she retired from the hospital from Fabelia so um, I had known about this particular hospital for a while and when Ramona came to me with the project I immediately said yes let's do it mm -hmm. let's do it so And uh, what was uh, the scene or the moment that really moved you when you watched the movie, personally? Personally, I think the one scene that kind of still does not, is not uh, removed from my mind is the long tracking shot of the big room where it's like bed after bed after bed after bed after bed mm -hmm. rows and rows and rows of bed and and the fact that this happens every single day in this hospital there's a system to this amazing mm -hmm. thing that they do this amazing process that they have in that hospital of delivering babies day in and day out up to a hundred babies a day yeah. so it's just amazing that it's that amazing. was the one the one scene in my mind when i saw that tracking shot i said oh my god yeah. this is great this is a this is a miracle this <laughs> that a miracle. this happens every yeah. single day and there yeah. is a lot of humor in this yeah. movie yeah. so when and all the workers when they talk to the mothers they had really a good sense of humor and they were really educated them so it was a lot of compassion in this film as well Yes, um, you know, humor um, is part of, uh, and it's probably, I mean, it is said that uh, humor is, is the best medicine, mm -hmm. uh, and especially for developing countries, and, uh, and again, it's specifically to the Philippines, and, and its culture, the Filipino culture. Humor is a way for us, for the, especially for the poor, to relieve the pressure, to relieve pressure of the day-to-day, -day, the 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 day-to-day the -day lives that they that they go through. Mm -hmm. um, humor becomes a way to ah, you know, I'm no, I'm not gonna let my life depress me. I'm just gonna laugh about it. I'm gonna, you know. Yeah, take it lightly and it, it and it becomes we it, it becomes so much that everybody laughs when there's a something bad that happens there's a it's not like uh it's almost like a guilty laugh mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. many filipinos react mm -hmm. because it's it's just become so ingrained in our culture that humor becomes the the pressure the relief of the pressure yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, and how could you summarize the main, main message of this film when, when to the Hungarian people, for example? So what could be the message from your country to our country or from your heart to my heart? Um, 
Well, I, I would say that it's what I would uh, kind of summarize the film as well. Mm -hmm. You know, this film, for all of what you see in it, all the, you know, it's a very difficult film to watch it sometimes. Is. It is. But at the end, I always have called the film as a celebration of life mm -hmm. because you're watching life how many babies were born in in the movie itself the filming in in the actual footage that was seen in the movie there were several babies born so that's why i say it's a celebration of life and uh, celebration of the miracle of life and and the sanctity of life mm -hmm. uh, for me it's a very life affirming movie mm -hmm. and so i think ramona will agree to this if i say that this is what we would like for the world to see, that our movie is a movie that affirms life. Mm -hmm. Yes, life affirming. Yeah. Thank you very much, yeah. really. Thank you for the interview. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.